r slash ask reddit people living in third world countries what are some pros of living there that aren't even available in first world countries i see that you've already mentioned piracy i watch listen and read whatever i want whenever i want for free and i also teach from materials i find for free so many great learning resources are hidden behind paywalls in my country i kinda envy you deleted yeah this is the main one Ease of living if you're well off in third world countries is likely higher than if you're well off in first world countries because of household help being so cheap. Cheap labor. Maid, driver, cook, and nanny is available to middle class. And very often good cheap mechanics. With parts being too expensive, they get very good in making things work and using their time to repair rather than quote for a bunch of parts to replace easily. This is insane to me. Domestic workers in garden and home. We have housekeepers and gardeners. Also petrol pump attendants at the gas stations who pump your gas, clean your windscreen, top up your engine oil and radiator water. And at supermarket checkout, our groceries are packed by the store staff. How's it freaky? My sister just called yesterday because she's working ski season in France with a bunch of other Safa girls to ask how to pump fuel because none of them had ever done it before despite them all having their own cars at home. I also did not know. Pros, average cost of living, rent plus food plus utilities for one person, is about $500 per month. Cons, average monthly salary is about $450. ISPs not really caring if you watch a movie or two without the explicit approval of the IP holder. Haha <laughs> yes. Piracy keeps my country afloat because freelancers here all use pirated softwares for their services that they provide to customers from other countries. I have a friend who uses his pirated Adobe software to prepare marketing materials for companies like Nestle and Hush Puppies. I find it really funny that a lot of the comments are citing weak rule of law, easy bribing and needing bodyguards, as pluses instead of negatives. Economic inequality and corruption are seen as benefits. Ironically, they are benefits, up until a certain point, purely economically speaking. Yet cheap labor seems to be pretty common as a plus too. Former co-worker grew up in a third world country, he was from a wealthy family and so had his own personal driver slash bodyguard and they had maids and servants at home. If he got pulled over a quick handover of cash and he was on his way. He planned on working in the US for a few years, saving up and living like a king when he returned. He kept trying to convince me to do the same, but I'm like not. Nah. India. I am cooking and I realize I'm out of yogurt. I just blink it and it's here in 10 minutes. Takes $0.5 as delivery fees. Forgot to print something for school. Blink it. Going out and I find I don't have a lipstick matching W my sorry. Blink it. Earphone stopped working and I am leaving in 15 minutes. Blink it. Everything I can possibly need and even things I can eat, I can blink it slash Instamart or Zepto. UPI. The people. There's a huge sense of community. Satisfaction with what you have instead of complaining about petty things. Safest city on Mexico, relatively low rents, worst average wage in all the country, beautiful. Stray animals. Having a cat to feed, befriend, and pet practically on every corner is something I really appreciate about the Balkans, even though they are not third world countries in strict terms but they often feel so, and it certainly wouldn't be tolerated even in places like Switzerland, which, ironically, is a third world country by definition. If you make somewhat decent money, at least in my country, LATAM, it is really common for higher class slash middle class to have maids, cooks and nannies for their children, in many cases they are in-house. It is pretty much like living in a hotel since they do all of the housework and cooking. Gives you a lot of free time and delicious meals. Maids for one. You can have maids to clean house, cooks for full time for like $100 a month. Fresh groceries are super cheap. Street food is amazing and it is actually cheap, know which places are hygienic though. You can drink alcohol anywhere in the street or public places. Well, that's the same in most first world countries, only very few like the USA don't allow that can do that in Germany, Japan. Daycare, housekeeping. My friend is from Sierra Leone and raised 11 children while studying in France. I'm black. All first world countries are majority white. What's available is being an ethnic majority in your own country, not having to struggle with your identity and your place within society. Pros, free healthcare, even though a lot of first world European countries also have it, a lot of social welfare, a lot of parties, we have to drink and have fun to numb the cons. Cons, money is kinda worthless, good things are pretty expensive, huge social gaps, a lot of homeless people, free healthcare and education are not good enough in most of the country, corruption. Edit, autocorrect. 
What is social warfare? Serious question, if you are retired and get a pension or if you have the capability to work remotely, what are the downsides to moving to places like this? I live in Palestine. The living cost here is higher than most European countries. But. We can pirate all we want. Our ISPs even have their own pirated streaming services. For about $5 a month, I get all of Netflix, HBO, Disney Plus, and pretty much every movie and TV show in history ready to stream in HD. How are you coping with the war, has that affected your living conditions? Cheap fresh produce. I can get 3 pineapples for less than $3 US. I guess one of the good things is if your salary is in euros or dollars. You can access a lot of things people can't, even with a decent salary in the official currency. Don't know if that was a bit what you were asking. If you don't have large scale farming and cold chain infrastructure most of what you eat will be local and fresh. Wasta. Pros. There are no rules. Cons, there are no rules. India, dirt cheap medicines. What first world country are you living in? In India, four people can live for a month for $500. Pros, everything, if you are rich. Cons, everything, if you are poor. Exactly this or have first world income. I'm in Vietnam and I can get a quality restaurant burger for roughly 8 US dollars. Have a fine dining entree for 12 US dollars. If you are a regular Joe from the third world country then there's no advantage. If you can earn your country's minimum wage, that's already a big advantage. Pros, everything, if you are rich. Not safety. So. Just like everywhere else. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.